One of the things that I have been asked quite a bit lately is how to add a watermark to a Google document. So I'm going to walk you through that process right now. The first thing you need to do is open up a blank Google document. Then you're going to go to the insert menu and select drawing. Then from here, you're going to click on the image icon when your page loads. And you have some different options here. You can upload an image, <coughs> excuse me, directly from your computer. Um, you could take a snapshot, you could upload by URL, however you want to get an image that into your document that you want to become your watermark. The one I want to use happens to be in my Google Drive, so that's where I'm going to go. I'm going to go into my folder where I have all of our different um, Gearing logos. And we have one that's a watermark. But what I'm going to show you, if you wanted to have one that's a little different than that, maybe you're at one, a different, you know, maybe you're at Cedar Canyon or you're at Guile and you want to really specialize or customize which um, image you're using. So I'm going to go ahead and just select the Gearing Bulldog. And obviously, if you tried to type over this, it's way too dark. So I'm going to show you how to lighten this up a little bit. You're going to want to go into the More menu and click Image Options, and then adjust your transparency. I'm going to go to about 90% or so, and I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close. I'm not going to save and close. I'm just going to close this menu. And I'm going to make this logo a little bit smaller. This is actually represents just about the entire um, size of my page. So nine and a half by 11, if that's what you're thinking. Then I'm going to put a text box on top of the, um, the background. So I'm just going to click the box to add a text box. And I'm just going to create one by going corner to corner. And then I have kind of cheated. I already have some text copied here. So I'm just going to copy it again just to make sure. And then I'm going to paste it over the, um, the watermark. Then I'm going to save it and I'm going to show you what this will look like on your document. So here <coughs> is what this actually looks like on your Google Doc. If you want your logo to appear a little bit lower, like I'm looking at this now, I would probably want to push the logo down the page a little bit or maybe put in a couple of different ones that might be a little bit smaller. Uh, it all depends on how you want your document to look. So if you wanted to change this, you'll notice when you click on it, a box appears. So to change any of the text in here, you're going to want to double click it. And then from here is where you could change your text. So maybe I wanted this to be May 20th, not May 12th. Then when I save and close, my changes will appear here. So I hope that will help answer your question about how to add a watermark in a Google document.